Hey guys, finally sleeps here, and because everybody is just clickbaiting the shit out of this new thing, Retro Stars. Nope, it's not Retro Stars. Flashback. It is Flashback. And since everybody is just clickbaiting the shit, leaks, leaks, leaks. Come here, find out what it is. Uh, we'll we'll put one out because you know the hell. Why not? Uh, we don't know shit. Nobody knows shit. You know everything we know. Anybody that says they know more is a dumbass. They don't know anything. We don't know anything. What we do know is that this is an old event that's coming back. It is a flashback event. Ultimate Memories flashback. Before we get into it, though, take a second. Make sure you uh, like, comment, subscribe. Turn on notifications so you never miss when any of these videos go live. Especially if there's a lot of clickbait shit involved dumbasses anyway okay so flashback event is coming out we're assuming it's going to come out right on top of the end of national heroes is that what it is yeah national heroes flashback event is not retro stars that's the first thing i hear a lot of confusion right now it's like well is this is it retro stars this was the difference well there's a big difference retro stars is an event that usually comes out towards the end of the season that allows EA to grab players that were very popular at the beginning of the season and upgrade them and reintroduce them into the game with a higher OVR, better stats that makes them a more competitive card right now. One of the cards that we expect to see is Calvert Lewin. Star Pass Calvert Lewin was a huge deal at the beginning of the season. His ginormous forehead and his ability to finish everything on the corners made him a go-to player for a really long time. We will probably see him get reintroduced as a Star Pass Retro Stars. That's an example of what Retro Stars is. He, you know, he was 89, I think, when he came out as a Star Pass player. Stats were great. They could release him as a 102 with even better stats uh, and in a better form of a card, pre-ranked, blah, blah, blah. That's what Retro Stars is. This is not retro stars it is completely different flashback event is a moment in time from a player either maybe at a different club or uh when their team won or they were at their height maybe in in whatever in the league or you know a national team whatever it's a reintroduction think of it as like team of the week meets back to the future they're not icons. It's completely different. Okay, so let's take a look at it. These, This was the very old, very old version of what we had with uh, the flashbacks. This is from seasons past. And you see there was a year on it, and we had the player, and we flashed back to a moment when they were good. They weren't icons, per se, because a lot of these players were normal players. We had them there, but maybe they weren't at that club. Maybe they were playing, um, you know, that, that was the year they won the league or they, you know, they did really fantastic that year. And this is what it was. This is a flashback to the moment in, you know, an ultimate memory of that player. That's what the event's going to be. Now, these aren't the players. These are from a few seasons back. We don't know what the players yet. They did release this event in FIFA 20 on the console. Uh, so you can take a look at that to get an idea of what it was, but it's completely different than what it is with mobile. I'm excited because this is something we haven't seen in a while. It's it's a, a return to something, you know, from seasons past. Now, today, they released the teaser for what the card art is going to look like, and oh, it looks good. I love the animation, the little sploogy... <laughs> the squares that are coming out of it i like it be pretty cool i would i can imagine someone building an entire flashbacks squad 11 players with this animation would be spot on so as far as who's going to be in it it's all speculation it's it's players that we haven't seen somebody maybe missed some card maybe missed an opportunity uh i i probably if i'm gonna guess I, could, I can see a Van Dyke. I can see a Van Dyke flashback from a few seasons ago um, because he hasn't had any opportunities here because of injury. I definitely see a Jamie Vardy coming back. Um, 
maybe an Aguero again, an Aguero because you know we've kind of had some some issues. Uh, look at anybody that like jumped clubs. Maybe we find them at their old club from a time when their club did really well. Maybe a Neymar, uh, you know, Barcelona Neymar. Maybe a flashback Coutinho at Liverpool. That's the kind of stuff we're expecting. I, I, but again, most likely the thing will release on Thursday. Be ready. It'll be exciting. Just, I'm just pumped because it's a new event. Something new, keeping us focused, moving forward. Feels like the last big thing was team of the season because then it was UCL, which was late because it was over. And then we had national heroes, but everybody was expecting treasure hunt. Now we're getting flashback. We're still waiting on treasure. I don't know. It's a strange season. It's a weird season. Not I'm I'm not upset about that because I like the unpredictability of what's coming next. So just have to wait until Thursday to see what happens. That's all we know. That's the that's all the leaks. That's everything. Ain't nothing else. Nobody can tell you anything more than that. That's that's it. That's all it is. Ultimate Memories flashback. It's coming probably Thursday, maybe Friday. It'll be Thursday. 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 And we should see some giveaways that goes with it. So make sure you're following along on all the channels, uh, Twitch specifically, and here at YouTube where I'll post when, if and when we're going to do some giveaways with the new event, Ultimate Memories flashbacks coming soon. All right, as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep making videos.